Shalom and welcome to Mr. Tzvah. This year is entitled Saying God's Name in Vain, Part 3. So we saw on the one hand there's a Gemara in Tamura, Hashem Kechatira, you have to be very careful to shame Hashem, but there that's Yud K Vav K saying Hashem's name, that's only in the Migdash at certain times. On the other hand, we see Brachot, Nandalid, that Boaz instituted Hashem Imachem with God's name, you greet people. Then you have bracha levatala. That's only when you're saying a bracha in vain, which may be according to Rambam, maybe a, a biblical prohibition, or might be from the Rabbanon. But what about Stam praising God with Hashem's name? So from Boaz, it's fine. So if you look at the literature, it's fascinating. Kuf Pei Zayin, the Shulchan Aruch talks about if you missed Al Hanisim in benching, so say in Rahman. Kuf Pei Echet, the Ramah says if you missed Al, if you missed Yalav Yavu in benching and Shosh you don't need to make it up. And you didn't say Baruch Hashem, you forgot right before Ha Tova Meitiv. So in the, so the Rachman, you shouldn't make it up. Why? Because there's Hashem Hashem in it. Wow, so he's been concerned by saying Yalav Yavo. Because of Hashem Hashem. Like Avram says, it's Sarachin. I don't understand. You're saying in a praiseworthy manner. So the post can grapple with this, and he says, Magen Avram says, I don't understand the Ramah. You're allowed to say Hashem Hashem in a praiseworthy way. You go back to the Mishnah Ruh and Reish Tedvav. See, if cut in Yutet and Sif cut on Chaf, he contradicts himself. In Yutet, he seems to be saying, if someone's praising Hashem, it's fine. And using God's name. But yet, in Sif cut on Chaf, he says, only say it when you're Mechuyav. You have to. So you can't just stop and praise God. So it could be. Some folks can want to say, technically, there's not an Isser. And if someone goes and says, Dini Mois, how are you? And I say, Todala El, Baruch Hashoel, thank you, Hashem. And I just said Hashem's name, and bless you for asking. It's not technically also. It's not. And it's fine. And when the Mishabura says, only when you mechuyu, it doesn't mean literally, only if you have an absolute chiyu. But he, this does try to stress, like the Ramah does in Kuf Pechet, that we don't stop throwing around Hashem's name. We have to be very, very careful. Why? So if you go to Siman Hay in the Shulchan Aruch, and the post of Mr. Brewer there in the commentaries about what kavanot we should have when we say God's name. Aleph Dalen Nun Yud, Aleph Lamed Hey Yud Mem, Aleph Lamed, any of those, it should be with such reverence and awe and kavana. So therefore, the minute developed that we don't just dump throw around his name. Is it usher to say God's name in a praiseworthy manner? I just said a moment ago, I use Hashem's name. It's not Aser, but the practice is often just to watch out, be careful. So halacha l'maseh, those who go ahead have that minute when someone asks them, how are you doing? They say, Todala el baruch Hashem. You don't need to stop them. It's not Aser. It is clearly mutter from the Gemara and Brachot, from Magadah from Kuf Bechet, from the Mishnah Vura in Reish Ted Vav Yotet. It's mutter. The only thing is, since we see Siman Hay with such caution about saying God's name, the Minak often is to be careful. So it's not awesome to say God's name in a praiseworthy manner, but we often are careful not to say it. And that's the overview of the Sugya. Shalom.